I'm not going to tell somebody wrong just because, because they don't praise God like I do. No, I'm not going to do that. Because your commitment to God is different from my commitment to God. Whatever you do, Amen. how you commit, how you committed to the Lord and how you praise Him is your plan. That's what you got to do. Amen. Amen. I'm not telling you to clone anybody. Don't clone. Listen, clone. We don't do cloning. I don't want you to listen. I don't want you to shout like I shout. No, no, no. I don't want you to do that. Cloning is it's not something I'm interested in. But what I want you to do is just accept the Lord for yourself. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Give Him into your heart for yourself. Amen. That's the most important thing on that. Now, the third and final thing. I'm going to let you go home. A new life. And a new living. In a new home. New life, new living in a new home. Amen? We've got to understand something. Whether we realize it or not, it's just like this. I, I live in many cities. I've lived in many cities throughout the United States. But whatever address I had was not my home. Y'all with me? Where you live right now is not your home. Amen. It's a house that you live in. Or an apartment that you live in. That's not your home. This earth. This earth. It's not your home. This earth. This, listen. Mesquite in Michigan is where you live. But it's not your home. Amen. Amen. I don't care if you're from Tupelo, Mississippi. Tupelo, Mississippi is where you were born. It's where you were raised. But it's not your home. You see, the thing is, is this. This is something we all have to go through. This earth is a place. This world is something we have to go through. It's not something that we need to get attached to, but it's something we got to go through. Because to go through it, we have to make it here to get on the other side. Amen. Amen. Paul makes that clear because he says in the word, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You see, now the thing is, is this. Our soul is everlasting. Are y'all with me? You see, this body, this body's gonna pass away. This is gone. But our soul is everlasting. The question is, where do we want our souls to end up? Where do we want our souls home to be? You see, I, 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 I don't want us to think about that individually because the thing is, is this, and it's real. About, this is so real. We have to understand that there is a heaven and there is a hell. Those places are real. Why? Because God lets us know. Heaven, heaven is real. It, says, it talks about heaven in the Bible. It talks about it. You look at Matthew, it'll talk about heaven. Jesus talks about how heaven is like it too. Many times in the book of Matthew. Look at it. But it also tells us that, heaven, that hell is real. And it tells us that hell was not meant for man. That's what the word says. It says hell was not meant for man, but for the enemy, the devil, and all of his imps. That's what it's for. But because we serve a God who is a loving God, a God who is a God who gives us free will, a God who allows us to do whatever it is that we want to do, a God who allows us to choose our own destiny, our own path, we serve a good God, y'all, because he's not a dictator, but he's a God who allows us to have the opportunity that if we want to, we can go to heaven or hell. And whatever we decide, he's such a loving God, he's going to love us all the way, wherever we choose to be. So the thing is, is this, we need to get this vision in order so that we can have a new life for a new living, that we can have a new home. Now, I don't know about anybody else, and I can't speak for anybody else, but I believe what the songwriter writes when he says, heaven is my home, each and every day. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I want to make sure that heaven is my home. I want to make sure that I'm able to see Jesus one of these days. 